The 10 fastest 40 yard dash times in NFL history. Before we start, I'd want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sports Tastic. Here are the 10 fastest 40 yard dash times in NFL history. Number 10, Don Beebe, 4.21 seconds. Have you seen videos of players celebrating too early and fumbling before they cross into the end zone or something similar? Well, Beeb was part of one of the most infamous situations like that in NFL history. While playing for the Buffalo Bills in Super Bowl 27, Beeb chased down Leon Lett of the Dallas Cowboys and stripped the ball from his hand as he extended it to showboat a touchdown. The Bills were getting beaten badly, so the play wasn't a game saver. But it did, however, prevent the Cowboys from scoring the most points ever in a Super Bowl, so that's there, right? Number 9, Kevin Curtis, 4.21 seconds. Curtis was drafted by the St. Louis Rams in the third round of the 2003 draft. In 2004, Curtis caught four passes for 107 yards in a playoff victory over the Seahawks. The Rams became the first team to win a playoff game with a losing record. The next week, Curtis caught seven passes for 128 yards and a touchdown after burning D'Angelo Hall of the Atlanta Falcons. He had some huge games in his career, but eventually battled some nagging injuries that kept him off the field more than on it. Messing with your head bad, you dead mad, but dag dag security with red flags. You banging files, shooting rocks and signs my way. Fine play, I keep number eight, Deion Sanders, 4.21 seconds. For seven, Terrell Sinkfield, 4.19 seconds. Sinkfield went undrafted in 2013 out of Northern Iowa. He has been on numerous NFL rosters, along with some stops in the CFL. He is currently a cornerback for the New York Jets. This is probably the least known name on the list as he has not done much of anything in the NFL. He does have 86 catches for 1,240 yards and seven touchdowns in his CFL career. His speed is a great fit for the CFL's wider and longer field. And they're like, you know what I mean? I've been learning offense my whole life and you can go to different offices and some of the terminology still is a little the same so you can catch on quick. Number six, Joey Galloway, 4.18 seconds. Galloway was the 8th overall pick in the 1995 draft by the Seattle Seahawks. He played 16 seasons for the Seahawks, Cowboys, Buccaneers, Patriots, Steelers, and Redskins. He played his best ball while on the Redskins as he posted 3 straight 1,000 yard seasons in 2005 to 2007. After 2007, however, there was a huge dip in his numbers and they would never return. A foot injury caused him to miss time, but he still signed with the Patriots after the Buccaneers. He never saw much more production though. Number five, Amon Green, 4.17 seconds. Amon Green played 12 seasons in the NFL and is the all-time leading rusher in the Green Bay Packers history. The Seahawks drafted Green in the third round of the 1998 draft, but after struggling to earn playing time behind Ricky Waters, he was traded to the Packers. Green is one of the only two players to have two rushing touchdowns over 90 yards. The other is also on this list. After leaving the Packers, Green joined the Houston Texans. His best years were behind him at that point. Number four, Daryl Green, 4.15 seconds. In the 1983 draft by the Washington Redskins, where he would spend the rest of his 19 year career, he holds options for the Redskins with 54. His dash time was 4.15 was unofficial, and some Green has said though, his 4.15 time is the fastest that he's aware of. Number three, Alexander Wright, 4.14 seconds. The Dallas Cowboys drafted Wright in the second round of the 1990 draft to add a speedster to complement Emmitt Smith, who they drafted the same year in the first round. Things did not exactly end up as the Cowboys planned, however, Wright never really developed into that consistent threat. He is the epitome of an athletic freak who is unable to put it together on the field. They would eventually trade him to the Raiders in 1992. He never had more than 460 yards receiving in a year though. Number two, Michael Bennett, 4.13 seconds. Bennett was drafted in the first round of the 2001 draft by the Minnesota Vikings after attending Wisconsin University where he also excelled as a track sprinter. In 1997, he set records in both the 100 meter and 200 meter dashes as a junior. He followed that up in his senior year by breaking both of those records again. In his second year in the NFL, he exploded for 1,296 yards rushing and five touchdowns, earning himself a trip to the Pro Bowl. Unfortunately, that was the peak of his career as injuries plagued the remainder. Number one, Bo Jackson, 
4.12 seconds. I'm sure not many are surprised by who tops the list. Bo was one of the greatest athletes sports has ever seen. He's the only guy in history to be named an all-star in both football and baseball. After winning the Heisman Trophy in 1985, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers drafted him first overall, but he refused to play for them. He instead entered the following draft and was selected in the seventh round by the Los Angeles Raiders. He is the other player, along with Amon Green, to have two rushing touchdowns of over 90 yards. Unfortunately, we only got four years of Bo Jackson due to a serious hip injury he suffered in the 1990 playoffs that eventually forced him to retire. If that never happens, who knows what more we could be saying of Bo today. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.